Altair's Inspire Motion is not only useful for proving out kinematic systems and making sure that your assemblies work properly, but it also allows you to easily combine your motion simulations with analysis. So once you have your motion simulation run, what you can do is simply come here to the analyze part, select the part that you want to run through an analysis, and then provide the information that uh, you would in a normal structural analysis. The only difference is how it gets its loads, and the loads are going to be calculated during the motion analysis and then passed through into the structural analysis. And you have the option of choosing how you want those loads to be applied. You can either select the peak loads per connection, so in this case, five peak loads per connection, or use five evenly spaced samples, or you can use all of the time samples throughout the entire analysis. Obviously, the more time samples you use, the longer the analysis is going to run. So oftentimes, we'll choose just the peak loads. But if you want to see an animation of the entire uh, motion analysis with the associated uh, uh, stresses in the member that you're analyzing, you're going to want to select to use all of the time samples available. When you select run, the analysis will run. And we'll stop here for a second just to allow the analysis to finish and we'll pick back up when, uh, when it's done. So with the analysis now complete, we can review the results. and determine what we want to contour. We'll come here down to von Mises stress. <clears throat> and because we selected all of the time steps, we can actually view the animation and view the contour through the entire animation. So we'll be able to see all the stress levels as it goes through. So in effect, we're getting kind of a, a dynamic uh, stress analysis as we're running, in this case, uh, 178 different uh, analyses and stringing them together. And it allows us to get an idea of the behavior of our parts through the, uh, through the entire motion of our uh, motion analysis. Additionally, we could have selected just the peak loads. Oops. And that's going to allow the analysis to run uh, much faster. This analysis took about uh, about 20 minutes to complete. Uh, using the peak loads will we'll run substantially quicker and will get us potentially just the information that we need, but uh, will prevent us from viewing the entire motion. So we'll take a look at uh, what we get when we choose the peak loads. So with that analysis now complete, and it took uh, quite a bit shorter time, about uh, five, seven minutes to, to complete that, we can view the results of, of that analysis. And this is just going to contain the, uh, the five peak loads for each one of the connections. So you see, as we run through the analysis, there's going to be a lot of uh, areas that don't have results, but it allows us to focus on just the, uh, the key events uh, and thus save a little bit of analysis time. So you can kind of either go, uh, go in either direction you want with that, uh, depending upon the information that you're looking to get. But as you can see, it's very easy to uh, correlate or to take uh, our motion analysis and uh, turn it into a structural analysis uh, You'll have to do it each part individually, so we can only analyze one part. So we've got uh, we've got that. Now we could go through and pick a different part to analyze if we say wanted to analyze uh, this arm right here. We could go about doing that as well. Um, and so each part that you want an analysis for has to be done individually. But the nice thing is all of the information is saved within the model, 
Of course, be sure to save your model upon completion, but we can come back to the results by just simply clicking the, uh, the large uh, colorful icon here, and you'll see all of the different results that we have here. So the first one was my all the 178, and then the second one was the, uh, the, the key events, the, the top loads. So uh, you can see that uh, it is easy to correlate your, uh, your motion analysis to an actual structural analysis. Uh, and you can go through and take a look at all the different parts that you want. And uh, remember, there were no loads added to this. Uh, I added no loads, no constraints, nothing other than to run the motion analysis first. And you do have to have a, uh, a completed motion analysis. And then simply come and click the little uh, run icon, select the parts you want to go, and you'll very easily get a uh, structural analysis. So hopefully you can get some, some even more useful results out of your motion analysis. And in the next video, we'll talk about uh, doing the same thing, uh, but allowing us now to uh, optimize our parts from that, uh, from that motion analysis.